Alley is a community platform that helps creators connect with like-minded people and develop lifetime meaningful relationships. I'm Jason Saltzman, the CEO and founder of Alley. My experience with startups over the past 15 years has given me the unique opportunity to connect with the brightest founders in the world. One thing always remains constant, the unbelievable knowledge we get from each other by sharing our stories. Join us while we learn from founders what it is really like to start a business, the hurdles they have overcome, and the lessons they've learned along the way. This is Resilience. I'm Ajay Kulkarni, uh, the co-founder and CEO of a company called Timescale. Uh, we develop uh, what's known as an open source time series database. But what we essentially do is we help organizations like uh, Comcast, the European Space Agency, Leica Animation Studios, mm -hmm. um, analyze data over time to, uh, to understand the past, monitor the present, and predict the future. Uh, we're based here in New York, wow. uh, we're Series A, uh, raised... Uh, raise money from top investors like Benchmark, cool. New York Associates, Two Sigma Ventures. And, cool. Um, some of the best firms out there. There's some great firms and we've been really blessed with some top investors. Yeah, cool. So the question I love to ask people is, what's, what's the worst thing that's happened to you that you can remember yeah. while, you're, while you built the company? Uh, when we pivoted, um, we had, you know, the, you know, we had our, you know, our, our main board member on board and everything was going really well. And I remember sitting at home on a Sunday night, watching TV, kind of flipping through Twitter, and um, I see something in my TechCrunch feed that says uh, that our main investor just passed away. Oh my God! Uh, and this, this, this guy, you know, this gentleman, his name is Harry Weller. Um, he was he was main investor for many EA. He was our main cheerleader, main investor, phenomenal investor, as far as I can tell, father, husband, overall human being in his mid 40s, super just fit, uh, passed away in his sleep. Wow. And and what's wild is you don't even think that could happen. Yeah. Like you don't think, oh, my main investor could pass away. Yeah. Right? And it was one of those situations that... Um, That's just like real life just hits you in the yeah, face. And, and, and this is almost cliche, but it, it's one of those moments when you're like, oh, like all this other stuff like doesn't matter. Yeah. Do, you know, are we going to ship on time? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Competition? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and it, it uh, we went down, it, it ended up having hosting services for him in D.C. Uh, so my co-founder and I went, co-founder and I went down to that. Um, and there were about 600 people in the audience. And, and. Um, so young. It's so young. Yeah. And, 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 oh my God, like, I mean, we had known him as a board member, which meant we met with him maybe a dozen times in a year and a half. Yeah. Which is like not a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. and there are people there who had known him for years. Yeah. And and I just got a sense of just what a phenomenal human being he was. Wow. Um, that, like, I mean, one of the, I think, the best uh, descriptions someone had, that I heard during the services, that, like, you know, when Harry, when Harry was in a room, the room was brighter. Mm. And, and not not because he was the brightest light, mm. but because when he was in the room, you felt your own light shine brighter. Because mm -hmm. he just just I love that. Just believed, yeah, just believed in you. Yeah. And 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 and, and that's when I realized that like, look, we're trying to build a, a big, you know, a big successful company, you know, um, but I also realized that I also want to take care of our people, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, take care of the people working working at time scale, working, you know, with us and yeah. customers. And it's, you know, and, and I think, and I think often, you know, people get hooked on, oh, like, are we going to raise this round? Are we going to, when are we going to exit? Are we going to, you know, IPO? Um, are we going to be the next whatever, Uber, yep. or, you know? And, and having, I think having a board member pass away and also such a phenomenal human being made me realize that like there's something kind of deeper here that we really should be doing. Yeah. Well, I completely appreciate that, um, and I will tell you that I, I do believe that having a sense of your own mortality while building a business yeah. is a huge lesson, yeah. because you're right, you know, we're not going to be here forever, and the things that we do now are going to define us later on, and if we don't use our, sh our stuff yeah. for good, and we don't take care of the people that are around us, right. then what are we doing, That's you know? Totally that's a beautiful lesson. So I want to thank you for sharing that with me. 
Um, how are you doing now? Uh, NEA, who was our only, our kind of our main investor at that point, um, was very, very, uh, I think, uh, proactively helpful and gracious in making sure that we knew, as, and also other Harry Weller portfolio companies knew, that we weren't going to be abandoned, that they were going to take care of us. Oh, okay. We managed to find another partner yeah. in the firm who was essentially our number two advocate. Yeah. Uh, a gentleman named Forrest Basket. Um, and, you know, we, we, you know, essentially convinced him to take another board seat and essentially join our board. Excellent. And, and he's been phenomenal. And, and then we essentially, I mean, it, it's crazy because this pivot was uh, very much, you know, inspired by kind of what Harry was telling us in the boardroom, but he never got a chance to see it. But ever since it happened, you know, NEA was supportive. And then, and then we just, last year we saw, you know, almost the classic hockey stick like group. Wow, cool. Congratulations. Uh, we just, we just That's awesome. Like a million downloads and we cool. have, you know, some of the names I mentioned earlier. Using Sweet, this. yeah. Uh, and then and thanks to that growth, we were able to get, um, you know, Benchmark to lead our Series A. Yeah. Peter Fenton from, Fenton from Benchmark. Yeah. It was one of those things where um, we've been very fortunate and, and I think a lot of the kind of strategy behind the pivot was it was like, inspired by Harry pushing us in those early yeah. board meetings. Uh, and, yeah, man, I'll never get a chance to thank him. Well, you just did, <laughs> you know, and you did it with people watching, yeah. and I appreciate it. Yeah. And thank goodness for people like Harry, and yeah. thank goodness for people like you. You know, you're good doing the good yeah. deed. You know, yeah. you're spreading yeah. his word. Yeah. You know, his, his product lives with within you. So... Again, thank you for sharing such a personal story with us. I really appreciate it. It was great getting to know you over this. Um, and we're going to bring you more. That's great. Wow.